In this video, I will give you a quick comparison between Airtable and Google Sheets and tell you which one I would use depending on your needs. So I'll go over what they do exactly and who they are for. Now first Airtable, you can see if you click platform, what it does right here. So it does app building, which is something you won't find in Google Sheets. It has AI, which is new, and that is actually also now in Google Sheets. So you can use Gemini in Sheets, which is Google's AI. Then you have connected data, which means you can connect data from apps, workflows, and tools. And you can see their features here. So you have views, interfaces, automations, and more. Now, Google Sheets, you probably know exactly what it is. It is kind of similar to Excel, and it helps you create online collaborative spreadsheets. So it's a tool with AI-powered spreadsheets that help you and your team manage, visualize, and analyze data. So you have Gemini. You can quickly build spreadsheets also from templates and then you can also collaborate on those in real time. You can do more with your data, at least that's what they say. And they have advanced client side encryption and you can enhance Microsoft Excel with spreadsheets. So in terms of pricing, if you already have the Google Workspace subscription, then it's just included. Or if you're going to use it as an individual, then you can just use it with your Google account. Now Airtable's pricing, you can see right here, it really depends on how many users you have. Now they do have a free plan for individuals or very small teams just getting started. Then the team plan, which is their most popular plan, is $20 per seat per month annually or 24 monthly. Then the business plan is $54 per seat when you bill monthly and the enterprise has custom pricing. Now Airtable's AI has a separate subscription, so you can click get pricing and then you can see this starts at $6 per seat per month for 3,500 monthly AI credits, but you can get 500 of them for free. But bear in mind that this will come on top of your already existing subscription and with Google Workspace, the Gemini, which is their AI, is just a featured add-on. So this is included in your plan. So should you use Google Sheets or Airtable? This decision really comes down to what you need your software to do. If all you want to do is crunch numbers, organize data, and create simple visualizations, Sheets is still the best option. It is simple to use and quick to learn, but still has a ton of advanced functionality. And while Airtable isn't as adept at the specific raw data management strength of Sheets, it offers so many more features and use cases that Sheets just isn't designed for. So bottom line, which one should you use? If you need a database and a tool to create apps such as a sales or CRM product, a portfolio project management, anything like that, then I would use Airtable. If you need a tool to create spreadsheets and track and organize data, then I would go with Google Sheets. So that concludes this comparison of Airtable versus Google Sheets. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.